In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the E6B flight computer to calculate short time. Some of the quick differences in a short time problem is that the outside of the rotating scale is now going to be seconds instead of minutes and the inside scale is going to be minutes instead of hours. And at the same time instead of using the pointer on the index we're going to use the number 36 which represents 3,600 seconds in an hour. So when are we going to use a short time problem? Let's assume we're doing a cross-country flight. We want to know our ground speed very quickly. The easiest way to do that is to pick two points that are not too far apart. Let's say we're about to fly over a lake and we're going to start the timer right when we get to the lake and we'll stop the timer when we cross the other end of the lake. So at the most, the lake might be one or two miles long and it's going to take us 30 or 40 seconds to overfly it. Using that information we can very quickly get the ground speed. This is much better than waiting until we get all the way to the end of our checkpoint which might be 10 or 15 miles away to calculate the ground speed. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the distance that we're going to fly. So let's say in this case it's going to be 1.5 miles to fly over the lake. Start the timer, record the time, it took us 48 seconds. So what we'll do is go to the outside scale, find 1.5 nautical miles, rotate this scale so that it lines up with 48 seconds. All we have to do is look at where the index 36 points to and we find that our ground speed is 110 knots.